What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm gonna to give you a few tips and tricks when it comes to using the media browser in Premiere Pro that are really gonna help you save a lot of time. So let's get started. So just a few years ago, I worked exclusively in Panasonic's P2 format, which is these MXF files. And if you look here, just the standard directory, file directory, the folder structure of these files is a bit complex and convoluted. If you go over here to video, you know, you see all these MXF files with these crazy names and you can't preview them. So when I discovered Premiere Pro's media browser panel and the features that it offers, it really changed my life and my workflow. So let me show you what the media browser panel has to offer. So if we go back to Premiere and take a look at one of the most common ways you bring in media assets is with the import command. And I can get the import command by double clicking within my project panel here or by simply going to file import. And that's gonna bring up the import dialog box which is essentially the finder window. So it gives us the same features as before. We can't really see what's going on with these video files. We don't get any file names except, from these, except for these crazy alphanumeric codes here. So if I just grab one, so I, I really don't know what I'm importing here. So if I hit import, it brings in our file, and then we're able to see the actual file name. I can double click and see all the information about this particular video clip. So let me bring that over here. Let me show you the comparison with the media browser panel. So I'm gonna go to the media browser panel. If you can't see the media browser panel, again, just go to window, media browser. Now, if I go to the same folder, which is desktop, video, and if we look here, here is our Venice 2 folder. Now, if I double click this, you're going to see it's completely different layout here. And we can actually see the video files. And we can we have hover scrub or hover scrub features. We can see the time code and we can even see the file names. So this is already drastically better than the standard import dialog box, which again is just the finder window. Now there are many browsing tools you can use in the media browser panel, such as up here you'll see there's a directory viewer display, which is set to Panasonic P2, but there's all these different formats we could look at if I was looking at that particular format. And there's also a filter by file types display here, which is inactive right now because we're looking at all MXF files, but let me go over and just select... Uh, let's go over here to other assets and if you look there's a, a variety of different file types here we have jpegs png and an actual video file so i can go and just filter by if i just want to see that movie file i can select mpeg movie and it's gonna go ahead and filter out all the rest so it's really good when you when you work with a lot of files this is really helpful now to get these files into your project we can simply drag them over just bring them drag them over here and then boom we have our file here and that's not going to, uh, that's basically just creating a reference file to wherever this is. It's not actually moving the file, it's just, it's just importing it. Let's go back to our P2 files here. We can do the same thing here. Let me grab a quick clip of Venice and I can drag it right in. It's going to import it. And there we go, We've got, we have our file. You can also browse within a Premiere Pro project, which is really, really a cool feature. So if we go over here to Premiere Projects and I select my project here, you're gonna see it shows all the bins within this project. And I could even double click and explore within each bin within a project. Now one of the very cool features is the fact that we can edit directly from within Premiere Pro here without even, we can basically edit a file, put in and out points on these files without them even being um, in our project yet. So I could double click a clip here. If I double click any of these clips in the media browser, it's gonna launch them in our source monitor. And if we look here, we have all of our tools within the source monitor to edit this clip. So I could go here, select in and out points, and then I could literally drag this straight over into my timeline here. And now if you look over here, it gave us a reference file. So it, it not only put it, it we we're not only able to edit this clip into our project, but it, get, it went ahead and added our reference file. Now, if you want to actually ingest and move these files to a different location, so you're doing like, an, an, now we're, talk, we're talking about ingesting here, which is different from importing. Importing, you're basically just telling Premiere where that clip is on the hard drive and you're creating a reference file, which is what we did here. But if you want to actually ingest and move those files to a different location, let's say we're looking at, we're using the media browser to look at clips on an external, well, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Because I have a camera plugged in here. And if I go to 
our file here and look at some clips on this camera. Uh, wait for those to process. And I want to filter out all the XML. I don't want to see any of the XML files. I just want to see the movie files. Now, if I want these to come in to my project and I want to copy them over, I want to ingest them. So I'm going to click the ingest button here. Now, the ingest features are extensive as well. We have four different ways to ingest this. We can copy, we can do a simple copy, we can have it transcode to a different format, we can create proxies, or we can copy and create proxies. I'm going to keep it to the simple copy feature. But if you also look down here, we have a variety of different presets. We can add our own ingest preset. But right now, we're, it's going to copy our footage and place it in the same folder or the same location as our project, or as our project file, I'm sorry, which is down here gives us a quick summary. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now I can launch this in the source monitor and edit it, or I can just drag it over. So I'm going to drag it over, and it says import. And we're all fine and dandy here. It gives us our file name. But let's, let's uh, find out where this is. So if I control click and I select reveal in finder, it's going to show me that this clip put it right next to our folder where our project is. Now it may take a few minutes for that to reconnect. It's basically unlinking the media and relinking it here because it'll at first it'll still be linked to your initial location so it takes just a few seconds. Very cool. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.